a thousand years of history on Spike Island in the 1850s, the biggest prison in the whole entire world. When people leave Spike Island, they're saying, well, we didn't know that there was that much history on the island. A lot of uh, sad stuff happened on Spike um, with the convicts, a lot of bad stuff happened on Spike Island with the convicts. So there's, there's lots of people here that had disease and all sorts, and I do believe that there's quite a few got taken out and just they were just left. And he would have loved to see people suffering. And he's that big shadow that you see walking back and forth up the hallway. The chain from all here, he'd look blind. As he could hardly see. When they got released, they would have suffered from snow blindness. There was still a lot of spirits here. Yeah. Uh, they wanted to be known. He vowed he'd never go back down in the dungeons. Okay, he made it back up here for some reason, mm -hmm. then got deported. Someone called Jethro. One man here, his ribs reset. Whilst he was actually here. Yes. Yeah, because I had someone slit the someone's throat. Two convicts brutally murdered a prison guard. Her name was Ellen Organ. Uh, we suspect it's going to be a great story for Spike Island. She lived on the island for a short time. Nellie was always saying that she had some sort of a communication with Jesus. And she knew so much about religion that it was amazing everyone on Spike Island. She had said that she was going to die on Holy God's Day. And she did die on a Sunday. A year to 18 months she's exhumed. They found that her body didn't decompose in any way. Her jaw, that she had a disease called caries that the jaw was even okay. She's there with you, stood there. It was really, really important for me personally to know that little Nelly was with me. This guy's name named Egan. Egan. And I said, when I got the name, it, it sounds like Egan. If he's over here, he was being tormented. He was also sexually abused over there, which I don't he like, was I don't like seeing at all. He was sexually abused by this big man. And there were code flags that nobody knew what they were. I mean, I could die of his watch. Or were you a guard? You've knocked down my hair. I can see these kind of white stuff on the top. Okay, so uh, we're in the modern cell block at the moment. We've definitely got a few voices. We've definitely. Ernie's head was what it was well known to, to be called Ernie's head. Mm -hmm.